Let's go into allergies for Thursday. We're talking about allergies, intolerances, sensitivities, and mast cell. Sorry. So this session used to just cover allergies, but I learned quickly that often our allergy symptoms have nothing to do with allergies at all to foods or the environment. They might be idea allergies. You could be 50% of my clients on average are allergic to having fun. 40% are allergic to having success. 90% are allergic to love, to receiving love. So what would it do to your life if you released all of your allergies to these things? An allergy at the core is a benign reaction, or no, it's a severe reaction to a benign energy. So I eat a you know slice of orange and then my body breaks out in hives. Was anything in the orange really toxic? Most likely not, but my body had a severe reaction to a benign substance. That's allergies. We can also have idea allergies that create blockages. Every time you try to connect with love, your body's like allergy, reaction, self-sabotage. Oh, you want to jump into success this year for the new year? No, I'm allergic to success. And your body goes through these reactions that actually create distance and blockages from what you're trying to connect with. So in the session, we're not only working on physical allergies, we're working on idea allergies. We're working on sensitivities. The number one area that I've been finding lately for myself is that I'm having a sensitivity to something. And it's an energy, a sensitivity to the shifting energies on the earth, a sensitivity to some type of trauma. Pay attention to when you start getting allergy symptoms. Trent and I were sitting on a bench at night looking at the ocean and I was working on this weight issue and I thought of something to do with it. And then I started sneezing and it was like, I hit a nerve. My body's like, whoa, nope, not going there. Allergy, allergy, allergy attack. And I pushed into it and I said, no, I'm not gonna just push myself away because you're gonna create allergy symptoms and run from this. I'm gonna face it and we're gonna deal with it. And so we did, and then my attack stopped. So let's talk about mast cell activation syndrome, MCAS. This is something that is fairly newer on the medical forefront, forefront that's coming up. I decided to include this in the session because it's all connected. Mast cells are part of the immune system and are found throughout our body. They release chemicals like histamine and cytokines in response to threats such as allergens or pathogens. The syndrome, the activation syndrome occurs when mast cells become hyperreactive and release mediators inappropriately. This leads to chronic multi-system symptoms that can mimic allergies or autoimmune conditions. Essentially, they're like an overreactive alarm system that goes off at the slightest hint of danger. So you smell a little bit of smoke and your body starts like, run you have to start sneezing and your eyes are watering and burning and your nose is running and you start swelling and getting fuzzy and ear ringing that is a hyper reactive response the body is on high alert your nervous system is fried out and so eat, think about it the days that you have had so much stimulation and you're just done like one more word one more complaint one more thing and I'm gonna go off. That's how your body gets with mast cell activation syndrome. One more little thing and I'm going off the handle here. Anything can trigger mast cell activation. Mold, pesticides, heavy metals, pollution, foods, emotional trauma, chronic infections, imbalances in your GI system such as leaky gut or dysbiosis. Histamine buildup, which, how do we get histamine buildup when our liver is not functioning properly to process all of these overproduction of hormones because we're super stressed? 
All of it ties together. So are you going to cover it up by taking an allergy pill for the rest of your life to deal with it? Or are you ready to deal with the root cause so that your body can actually heal? Often it is misdiagnosed as allergies, IBS, fibromyalgia, or anxiety. But really it's mast cell. On average, 30% of my clients in this session have mast cell activation syndrome, and they have no idea. They maybe never even heard of it before. So the root way that we deal with this is by addressing why this energy, why is our body on hyperdrive? Why is it overstimulated? Why is it so sensitive to every little thing? When we are regulated, we can have all of these energies come at us and our body just harmonizes. We are this harmonizing force in the core of our being and nothing can push us off of our path. When you're not anchored and grounded into yourself, every little thing, a little hint of fragrance, a little something here just boom, sends you out of alignment and into an allergy attack or a mouse cell attack. So let's shift this. We can do it together. You can start working on it for yourself too. <sighs> and then last session for Thursday is a brand new energies of supplement session to support your body in dealing with anxiety and panic attacks, which is really stress. This is really a session to support your body in helping it cope with stress which impacts mast cell, our allergies, our weight, our immune system, our hydration. It overflows into everything. So how do we get your body to be harmonious with all the coming waves of energy coming at it? With this session, I add 15 targeted energies of supplements, homeopathics, or crystals to support your body in finding balance. These are energetically applied for your highest good only. Meaning you will only use what is needed when it is needed. It's the most highest form activated version of the energy. You don't have to worry about additives or toxins or anything. I also release all allergies and tolerances or sensitivities, including inherited that you may have from any of these substances. I often get people asking, well, I'm really allergic to this. Should I take the session? Yes, because we work on releasing the allergies, the reaction to this benign substance that is actually here to support you. Have you ever seen a little child having a tantrum because their body is dysregulated and you try to hug them and support them and they just like cast you off and away? That's what's happening during anxiety and panic attacks. Our body is so dysregulated. We're just, we don't even know what's good for us and we can't accept it or receive it. And we're just out of alignment. Let's bring it back in. Some of the energies that I will be including, if I can pronounce them, the whole list will come out on Telegram and Facebook. Watch for it. Um, Xiao Wu Tang is a Chinese herb that calms the spirit, nourishes the heart energy, clears meridian pathways, promotes healthy aging. Hey, I can get behind that one. Um, another one is Galfema Glauca reduces anxiety with its tranquilizing and sedative properties. Anti-inflammatory, soothes nerves, treats central nervous system disorders. Another one, kava kava, helps panic attacks, elevates contentment and well-being, treats anxiety and related nervous disorders, relieves stress, improves relaxation, supports a healthy mood. Also, Blue skull cap calms racing thoughts and supports the nervous system during heightened stress. California poppy, a gentle sedative that soothes anxiety and supports restful sleep. Okay, another question people ask is, will this show up on my drug test? If we add these things energetically, no, it will not. Okay, we're not adding it in the physical body. When something shows up on your drug test, it's happening because your liver is processing it and it's coming out through your urine. These are not processed through your physical pathways. These are actually processed through your energetic, which is a higher pathway and a higher way to use it. 
Another one, lemon balm, promotes relaxation by calming the central nervous system and reducing overstimulation. We're going to add in blue lace agate, a crystal energy, which provides calming energy, reducing nervous tension, and promoting clear communication. Pink coons eight, opens the heart and promotes deep emotional healing, easing anxiety. And let's go with some homeopathics. Aconitum napellus. napellus. Eases sudden intense panic attacks accompanied by fear of death. Gel semenium. Forgive me for not being able to pronounce these. Release performance related anxiety, fear, or trembling. Ignacia Amara addresses anxiety linked to grief, emotional trauma, or suppressed emotions. So you will be getting 15 targeted, muscle tested energies that I am testing that are, you'll see me doing this. What are the best energies to support those who are connecting with the session for this session? Permanently add it to your body so you can use them whenever you want. And you save so much money on and time on having to research the herbs, order the herbs, get the mail, like put them in your little vitamin pill containers, remembering to take them, the cost of them, traveling with them, all of it. Bye-bye. I have zero herbs or supplements that I have traveled with right now. Nothing except for food is what I'm using for my body. So feel free to connect with it if it resonates.